Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're seeing this face for the very first time, if you're new, welcome. My name is Martha, aka Gibbs, aka Mama Vicky, and guys, I am the one and only original Mrs. Maggie. Today I'll be taking you guys to the community of our K Gate. I'll be showing you the community and I want us to talk about coming to Dubai, be it as a job seeker, as a tourist, particularly job seekers, what you need to know. So guys, I'll first of all take you around the community. Let's go. By the way, we have to introduce our business first. Yeah, my people, welcome to Bosseme Fashion. The best you can do for your girl is to visit our page on Facebook and give us a follow. I will appreciate that. And please do not forget to give us a like. And if you are interested in anything you are a wholesaler, then make me your own plug. Guys, as usual, your girl never limits herself on anything. I introduce you guys as well, the Yatch. This is a luxurious yacht if you're coming to Dubai for the very first time as a tourist and you want to enjoy the water view of Dubai, then make Martha your yacht blog. Come cruise with Martha. With Martha, you're surely going to get a discount. Get a discount with Martha. Get a discount with Martha. Yes, guys. Coming to Dubai as a job seeker. Actually. Coming to Dubai in general is quite exciting. Like, you don't want to hear anything. But be guarded. Don't forget to know when you're coming with a tourist visa, you're not coming as a, an employee. You're not coming with direct employment. It is quite tough, guys. You never know. You don't know what's waiting for you. Now, this is the community of Al Kale Gate. There are so many um, employees living here. Yes, some of them, their companies kept them here. Some came by themselves and their agents brought them here. Like, getting to know this community is amazing. Yes, it's quite amazing. It's a thing of joy because you meet people of different nationalities, Africans, Asians. You, you can name them, guys. Okay, looking at these buildings, you see, yeah there are owners of flats now i had a question from anaya where she was asking me about the owners of accommodations the rooms we pay our bed space money to yes owners of these flats they put in check and um they put in check yeah and we come behind and we pay our little little chicken change to them as maybe partition uh, fees or your bed space fees that is that and again coming to the uae coming to dubai as a tourist because we all know as africans eh? as africans when we get here we don't just come and enjoy let me say most of us africans we don't just come with our three months visa to enjoy and go back to africa no we come here with that three months visa because we want to get a job we want to get a job and start something for ourselves but what we don't know is the fact that no one keeps a job for anybody no one keeps a job for anybody if anybody has ever told you that uh there's a job waiting for you here that is a very fat lie from the pit of hell take it from me matter i said so whatever that's saying that tell them that oh matter says it is a lie from the pit of hell if you don't want to believe me listen to what they are saying by the time you get here you will see schmook you will see schmook okay guys let's go let me show you where some of our african even asians who are homeless who came here hoping to get a job and they were unable to get one yeah some of them are just stranded they don't even have something to eat they don't have a place to sleep they don't even have money for visa change a lot is going on out here in the uae so i want you to be aware if you're in the uae already or you have plans coming to the uae please let's tell people the truth so they know it let's go i'm taking you guys to a park there are so many parks. Every single community in UAE, in Dubai, has a park. And in that park, you meet people maybe in the morning, in the afternoon. It all depends on that particular individual. Okay, I cannot just take videos carelessly because it's against the law to videotape someone without the person's consent. So I'm just going to stand somewhere, not like I'm focusing my camera on anybody. Yeah, this is a park. 
this is a park and if you look keenly you will notice there are some people who are just seated there are some people who have been here for so many months for even a year and they haven't gotten a job they haven't gotten a job not because they like it that is why some ladies go into i told you they go into prostitution not because they love it but because of the circumstances that they have that they, that they have been faced with now being in that situation if you were that type that has been brought to the uae with the hope of coming to get a job and by the time you get to the airport they seize your passport they ask you to walk and pay thirty-five thousand dirhams as usual because they brought you here on a free sponsorship claiming they are helping you because that's always the impression they give to our african sisters mothers and fathers by the time that uncle and auntie they are coming to your home you look them as a couple and you think no because they are a couple they are maybe kind people they are helpful trust me guys they just want to use your daughter to make money they want to use your son to come here to maybe sell alcohol or sell drug trust me that is just it they'll never tell you but Mata is here to tell you today Whoever comes to you and tells you, I want to take your child to the Middle East. I want to sponsor the child for free because I want this child to have a better life and to remove shame, to wipe poverty from the face of your family. It is a lie. It is a lie. You know, what happens is your children, our children, our brothers and sisters, they turn not to talk about it because they are ashamed of what they are doing, the situation they have found themselves in. They have just decided to embrace it, to suffer, to go through all the torture all alone and give you guys back home the... Uh, the freedom you want the enjoyment all the good things you want to enjoy they love you so much they want to give you they don't want you to know the pains they are going through they don't want you to know what they are experiencing they want to put a smile on your face so mommy whatever they are sending to you be grateful be thankful because it is because your child loves you so much that is why he or she is doing that and keeping it a secret and people keep falling into this temptation every day because people don't talk about it your brothers and sisters your children they are working here they are using what they have in between their legs and some of them are selling drugs as usual as i told you they are into illegal stuff so guys let's continue let me show you more okay let's go you find people sitting people oh god it's quite painful but what can one do it is painful it hurts but what can we really do actually nothing these are community houses for laborers there are some people with their families as you can see guys you you see children uh, you see parents and their kids they are just enjoying and trust me it is very hot it's extremely hot it's just that uh, i don't know we, we get used to it you know we get used to the dubai and we don't care anymore huh? there are some situations you find yourself and you're like oh that's just all that's just it what can i do and you just enjoy you see this place here particularly this place particularly this place i'm coming in the afternoon because i don't want drama if you should come here in the evening at night if you guys want please tell me in the comment section then i can come here one day in the evening to show you guys what it looks like serious business is going on here there are some africans who are selling food some are selling drinks, soft drinks. I even met someone yesterday selling cold water. Oh my goodness. Yes, I met a Pakistani selling cold water. And I was like, oh my goodness, is this happening in Dubai? Is this happening in the UAE? Are people selling drinking water in the streets just like it's been done in Africa? I didn't want to believe it, but what can I do? Guys, let's go. There's also a, a public gym, which is free, you see. I'm sure this is a basketball court or it's a volleyball court something like that and there's a gym right there if you look very well there is a gym and this you girl just wants you to enjoy the way this place looks before you get here don't be naive don't be intimidated by anyone I want you to be wise i want you to know what you're doing and make sure you're going in for the right thing if you want to do something it should be because you love doing it not because someone tricks you not because someone deceives you 
into doing that thing. You get what I'm saying? That's just what I want to do. That's just what I am trying to do here on this my channel. Now, coming as a job seeker, you're coming with a tourist visa. If your agent is not kind enough, trust me, one day you may find yourself here. Not because you like it as a young man. Now, because it's going bad on Nigerians, you know, due to the happenings, Nigerians have been banned. Like, somehow, I'll say partially, they have been banned because coming now to the UAE as a Nigerian, you need to be 30 years and above. Oh my God, that's hectic. It's too much. Some people, come to, some people travel abroad at 20, 22, 24, 28. And now, if they are saying coming to the UAE, you must be 30 years and above. Obviously, some people's... Um, destinies have been delayed why because of our brothers and sisters so africans we need to stop practicing cultism all this uh when you know something is um, illegal in the country it's good to stop you don't need to practice it there are legit businesses and people are making good money in those things ah, ah. i know nigerians are very smart when it comes to business why don't you guys venture into those legal businesses? You keep going into illegal businesses. I don't know why. You... Normally, I used to meet some African sisters here, even in the afternoon. Those ones who don't actually have a job. They stay here, they sell things like avocado, African avocado. They sell beans, they sell African maize, they sell cocoa yam from Africa. That is very nice. Rather than staying home or going into prostitution, all those illegal things. I know, yeah, it is illegal somehow, but at least it's legit. It's not that bad. So guys, let's continue. Let's continue. In the evening, if you look very well, let me see. No. If you look far in there, you see a uh, one small building. Yeah, that's like a, a small, a mini shop, a mini grocery shop. Oh my God. We commonly have this in Africa. We call it boutique, you know. When you have a boutique like that, a mini shop, where you sell little, little things. Oh my goodness. I never knew I was going to see something like this in Dubai. But oh yeah, in this community, I found it. Meaning these people actually know the life of a common man. They know and understand the life of a common man who wants to live a simple life. You just want everything on a low key. Most of the people here, they are living the life of a common man, of a simple man, living on a low key. Okay, okay, guys, if you have any questions, come with it. If you think you want to see more of the outside of Dubai, more of Dubai, the streets in Dubai, and what's actually happening there, like I told you guys, in this place, this is a park where I am standing, morning, afternoon, evening, you're going to meet people here, especially where I'm standing. I told you guys, it's a mini gym, a mini public gym. If you come here in the morning, you find people exercising. You come in the evening, you find people exercising. It's because it's afternoon and it's hot. So people are kind of, they stay at home. You know, you cannot exercise under the sun, especially under Dubai sun, maybe 36 degrees, 39 degrees or 40. You cannot do that. It's quite hot. And again, don't forget, I'm here for you. Be careful as a job seeker who is coming behind the tourist visa. Be very careful. Ask a thousand and even a million questions to your agent, okay? Let me see if I have anything else. Yeah, that is that. I love you all so much. See you guys when next I upload another video. And please do not forget to give me a like, a comment if possible, and don't forget to subscribe. I want to see you guys subscribing. Subscribe so I'll be motivated to come more and more to show you guys. Maybe I'll take you guys to Dubai Mall, Mall of the Emirates. I'll take you guys to different areas, different communities, and I'm surely going to say something about what is actually happening there. I love you all so much. My African sisters, be wise. Even if they are bringing you to come and do that work here, you should know about it. You should be aware of it from home. It shouldn't be a game. You get it. You get it. Love you all so much.